Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the farm. Today we are going to be working on broadcasting some fertilizer. I have fast forwarded to the next day. Um, our corn does not need to be fertilized yet. Uh, I don't think. Let's just take a look here. Um, our wheat ground does. Because that will be harvested in two days. But our corn here... Yeah, our corn needs it. I think. Uh, we'll wait with our corn ground for now. Because let's take a look here at our growth stage chart. Yeah, and our corn isn't harvested till autumn. So I think we can save ourselves some money and not do that yet. But we are going to fertilize our wheat ground here today. Uh, that's all that we're going to do in this video, so it might be a lot shorter, but, uh, well, I guess we'll see what we're at for time by the time we get done fertilizing our first round of fertilizer here. So we'll let this fill up. Did not mean to start that. This does not have any blinkers or anything on it. See our mud flaps are flapping. Except they're clipping into the tires so This thing's actually sliding too. It's kind of annoying. Just about full here. There we go. Alright, let's head over and put some fertilizer down on this wheat field. get this done as quick as we can here we'll just go ahead and shut the HUD off right away otherwise we'll have to deal with it a little later when we're in the field and trying to spread and stuff and yeah it is looking to do it anyways oh so it's actually not fertilizing yet so let's fast forward one more day maybe Hmm. It's kind of strange. Wonder why. I thought it went a growth stage, but I guess not. So we'll fast forward here to the next day. Now it'll take off, hopefully. I guess we'll just have to give it a moment. We'll run over here and check our cornfield first. So this is still showing the same. Our wheat field change yet? Oops. Well, I know it's going to because... I mean, we're a day away from harvest here. Fast forward into the afternoon a little bit, maybe. Let's try maybe just like tabbing away from it or something. I don't know. What the heck? It's kind of funky. Something's definitely not right, because, I mean, this is harvested in a day. Is it not? Yeah, we're on our last day of spring. Okay, I'm just going to save the game, 
And we'll fast forward one day and see what happens. We'll just do a little bit at a time and see if maybe something's going to change here. But it does not look like it. 28% Summer yeah, So we're in our first day of summer now So that means we fast forwarded like two or three days now Since our last fertilization stage There it goes There we go That's what we're looking for Perfect And our soybeans have come up and let's go run over here and take a look at our corn. Our corn is up another stage. Cool, so we can take care of quite a bit actually now in this video. Guess I just need to go a little farther forward than I thought we did. Huh. I think fertilizing is going to be interesting here. Very interesting. Yeah, I can't even tell where the heck I've gone. Like, barely. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> Trying to guess where to go. Maybe we will use our hired worker here for this. Left shift H, alternative helper on. H. Yeah, here we go. We can let this guy go. For well, we'll just have to ride along, I suppose, because so left shift H. Collision check, connected field only, show trace. Manual steering. So let's just see what this guy's gonna do here. Once he reaches this end of the field. So let's go back up. O shaped turn, there we go. <laughs> this is going to be very, very interesting. If I could zoom out far enough, I could see. There we go. So we're going to have to basically fertilize like this most of the time here. Hmm. I probably should have thought of that. You know what? Here's what we're going to do. We're gonna sell this spreader. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just use the sprayer. We're gonna stick to the sprayer. We are just gonna stick to it. Cause that'll be a little bit easier to run. So, yeah, okay. It's the second day of summer that we harvest our wheat. Okay, then. So we got a lot of spraying to do now. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to spray this field uh, 25 here and then we'll see where we're at for time. Because of course now I'm all messed up on my timing for this video. Of course, right? So I'm just going to put this tractor in the front of this shed versus in the back like it has been. We'll just leave the combine right there. That's far enough. 
That's far enough for us to sneak in here. Perfect. Well, we'll just leave this guy right here like that. Whoa, we're still moving really fast. Okay, so let's take a look here at this. Okay, so we're going to finish off round one of fertilizer. And then while we're here, I need to just go ahead and delete that screenshot that we took. And then we need to hop in this guy. And get back to spraying. Since that was not going to work. Just about clipping into the cab with this. It's insane. But it's the other tractor that it does clip into the cab a lot, so uh, we aren't going to use the uh, case for spraying. And since we have to spray only, I am going to go ahead and edit, after this video is done, I'm going to edit this sprayer to um, allow us to drive much faster. Like I said, probably 10 or 12 miles an hour that I'm going to set this sprayer to. Because 7, we are going to be here for ages doing this. And I'm also going to go ahead and program a button for HUD Hider. <laughs> so that way I can quit dealing with that as well. Kill a couple birds with one stone. Get all this stuff taken care of. Mostly these buttons, those I should have taken care of a long time ago. But I just never did. And now it's back to bite me in the butt because it's so annoying so this field should go by pretty quick because literally we're going to basically clear out more or less the rest of it going back there might be a little bit that we have to turn around and pick up but we're pretty much going to get the rest of this field in one more pass so that's super nice so I'm hoping we'll be able to tell where we've sprayed a little bit better than we can tell where we spread I don't know this might be interesting that's for sure very, very interesting. And our tractor is smoking again. What the heck? That's really annoying. I don't know why that is either. There is something that is not playing nice. What it is, I have no idea. Maybe it's like because I didn't fully stop the tractor before I shut it off. But I did the other time when it was in the shed. So I don't know what its deal is here. It's not liking something that we're doing. But what it is, I have no idea. It 
See, now our grass is kind of getting the flowers in it, so I bet now if we cut it, we'd maybe even get a little bit better of a yield on our grass, but we don't need any more hay right now. We are sitting perfectly fine. Although maybe, I don't know, I might do a little bit more hay off camera or something just to kind of make sure because I did notice that when I fast forward, our bales actually are losing volume. Like the amount, like the liters, is going down with each day that I fast forward. So that is kind of interesting. So that's got me wondering if I may just may have to do a little bit more hay but I'm not sure we're gonna have to find out might have to pop over there at some point and take a look at that just to kind of see uh, what the deal is gonna be there okay so what are we at we're at 16 minutes okay so this is field 25 so we'll go ahead and we'll spray field 27 as well, and then we'll end for the day. And I think I'll spray like the cornfield off camera or something maybe. Well, no, because if I'm going to change how fast this allows us to go, it'll go by much faster, so I think we'll be okay. missed a little bit there but it's okay not too worried about it if I miss a little bit in a corner or something so we are supposed to get some hail from the looks of it and then also some rain tomorrow so hopefully we can get our wheat combined before the uh, rain hits I'm not exactly sure how big our bins are here, if they're 200,000 liter or 300,000 liter bins. Not really sure. I think I might take the light add-on script out of my game, so that way we can buy the uh, little unload auger for unloading our bins. Because, let's face it here, that big one, I was using it to unload a bin um, on my harvesting save game. And it's a bit of a pain in the butt because it's so large that it makes it so difficult to get in. Uh, get into the places that, you know, we need to. And so, like, I... To use that, I have to use a grain cart to unload, um, to like unload the bin. So basically, using the auger to load the grain cart and then taking the grain cart over to the truck and loading the truck that way. That's the only way that I can really do it. And if I try and buy it right now, I will show you guys even what I'm talking about. Oops, not sprayers. That's just a little thing that I got. Did I put the John Deere in here yet? I wonder. No, I don't think I saved my game yet. Uh, I did get a grain cart that we'll be using in the future on this save game. So, if I click buy, you can see it's just sitting there loading. It won't buy, and it throws a Lua error. And you can see it is the light add-on script that is doing it. So, um, I need to take that out of my game so that way I can buy that and use it. Um, because 
the farm king is not ideal to unload the bins especially if we end up using this big bin here in the yard um, if we end up using that thing that is really not going to be ideal because we're going to be all the way out into this field uh, unloading and it's just it is way too large to be using as a main unloading auger now I can see using it if it's in a position if the bin is in a position where you know it's a little bit tight to try and unload with the little one but it you know we can fit in there with the big one and get it out far enough to where it's not so tight then I can see using it but just for standard unload it's just too large we need to get a bigger one or uh yeah it's too large so we need to get a bigger one right it's too large so we need to get a smaller auger to use for unloading our bins it's only ten thousand dollars so I mean we're still even after we buy that we'd still have six hundred thousand dollars I mean we still have six hundred thousand dollars so we still are gonna have a lot of money uh, even come harvest time so um, and then we are gonna spend you know a few hundred thousand on cows but still, even then, we are still going to have a large amount of money. So, so I'm just going to shut this thing off anyways at the ends just to make this turning faster. Uh, we only got one more pass left. And then I'll, you know, I'll end the video, and then I'm going to go to my desktop. I'm going to get that John Deere grain cart put in so I can show you guys that, uh, at least, you know, anyway, in the store. We're not going to buy a grain cart yet. Uh, we aren't really in need of a grain cart at this point in time. We will probably get one next, uh, next year to use. Uh, and we also need to buy something to move snow with I'm not exactly sure how I want to do that if I want to just use that dozer blade or if I want to go buy like a or like go find maybe a blade for buckets and stuff or for loaders and whatnot and try and use that uh, for moving snow this winter because I mean we are gonna have quite a bit of snow to move we're gonna have to move snow uh, in our yard both of our yards and then the, all the road, well, at least the gravel road, from this farm all the way over to the highway and then from the highway into our other farm. And then I don't know if we're going to have to do any in town or not. Well, probably not. We'll just leave it. But, you know, there are those couple places in town that we'll have to go to, but those will just leave. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.